Hello mga katuto! Welcome to One-on-One -on -one Tutorials. Ang lesson natin ngayon ay Distinguishable Permutation. Distinguishable Permutation The number of distinguishable permutation T of N objects where A objects are alike, B objects are alike, C objects are alike, and so on. At ito yung ating formula ng distinguishable permutation. T equals N factorial over A factorial, B factorial, C factorial, and so on. Okay, so let's have an example. How many distinguishable permutation of the letters of the word letters? So identify muna natin yung mga given values. So ang ating N is equal to 7. So bibilangin lang natin ito. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, n is equal to 7. Then, ang l natin ay isa. So, l is equal to 1. Then, e is equal to 2. t is equal to 2. r is equal to 1. n s is equal to 1. Then, gamitin na natin ang ating formula. Substitute na natin yung ating mga given values sa ating formula. So, we have... 7 factorial over 1 factorial, 2 factorial, 2 factorial, 1 factorial, and 1 factorial. 7 factorial, so this is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Then 1 factorial is equal to 1. 2 factorial is equal to 2 times 1. 2 factorial, so that is 2 times 1. 1 factorial is equal to 1. And 1 factorial is equal to 1. Then, i-multiply na natin yung 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that is equal to 5,040. Then, multiply din natin ang ating denominator. So, 1, then 2 times 1, 2 times 1, times 1, times 1. And that is equal to 4. Then, divide natin itong dalawang numbers na ito. And that is equal to 1,260. So, ito na yung ating sagot. Okay, so let's have example number 2. How many distinguishable 9-digit numbers can be formed from the digits 3, 2, 3, 5, 5, 2, 3, 3, 4? So, identify muna natin ang ating mga given values. So, ang ating n is 9. So, bilangin lang natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, ang ating n is 9. Then, ilan naman ang 3? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, ang ating 3 is 4. How about 2? So, 1, 2. So, ang ating 2 ay dalawa. Then, 5 is 1, 2. So, dalawa rin ang ating 5. Then, isa lang ang ating 4. In this case, pwede na nating tanggalin itong 1 na ito. Kasi pag i-multiply natin siya to a number, same number pa rin ang lalabas. So, okay lang natanggalin na natin ito. So, gamitin na natin ang ating formula. Then, substitute na natin ang ating mga given values sa ating formula. So, that is, ang ating n is 9. So, that is 9 factorial. Then, 4. So, that is 4 factorial. 2 and that is 2 factorial. Another 2 and that is 2 factorial. 9 factorial, so that is 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. Hanggang 4 factorial na lang ang isusulat natin para ma-divide natin agad sa ating denominator na 4 factorial para hindi na mahaba ang ating solution. Then, pwede na natin i-cancel ang ating 4 factorial. So, i-multiply na natin ang 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 and that is equal to 15,120. Then, multiply din natin ang ating denominator. So, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. Then, multiply natin and that is equal to 4. Then, you divide natin these two numbers and that is equal to 3,780. So, ito na yung ating sagot. Okay, so let's have example number 3. Find the number of distinguishable signals that can be formed by displaying 10 plugs in a row. If 5 are blue, 3 are red, and 2 are yellow. So, identify natin yung mga given values. So, ang n natin is equal to 10. So, that is the 10 plugs. Then, ang blue natin ay 5. Then, ang red natin ay 3. At ang yellow natin ay 
2. Then, gamitin na natin ang ating formula. Ang n is equal to 10. So, that is 10 factorial. Then, 5. So, that is 5 factorial. 3. And that is 3 factorial. Then, 2. And that is 2 factorial. Then, 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5. Hanggang 5 factorial na lang tayo kasi meron din dito sa ating denominator na 5 factorial. Na kung saan, pwede na natin i-cancel ito para mas mabilis ang ating computation. So multiply natin yung 10, 9, 8, 7, and 6. And that is equal to 30,240. Then i-multiply din natin ang ating denominator na 3, 2, 1. And that is equal to 6. Then 2 times 1 is 2. Then, 6 times 2 is equal to 12. Then, i-divide natin itong dalawang number na ito, and that is equal to 2,520. So, ito na yung ating sagot. Para mas maintindihan nyo pa ang ating lesson, pwede nyo ring subukang sagutan ang mga sumusunod. Sana nakatulong ang video lesson na ito para mas lalo nyo pang maintindihan ang lesson natin about distinguishable permutation. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!